Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Academy of Internal Audit. So as you know, we are preparing a uh, playlist called Steps to Become Certified Fraud Examiner. So in the same playlist, the first video is the first step to become Certified Fraud Examiner and in that video we have shared how to become the member of the ACFE. So first step is to whenever you would like to become CFE, you have to first register with the ACFE organization and uh, the entire detail the different steps to follow to become the member of that ACFE we have already explained in the uh, in our earlier video and then again we have also touched upon the second step to become CFE once you become the member you have to enroll into the ACFE examination right we can the CFE examination so you have to upload certain documents and then you have to uh, you have to fill the minimum eligibility criteria you have to upload certain documents and then you have to become the only then you will be able to uh, sit into the exam right so once the entire registration process has been completed then the next point comes to the picture is the third step to become certified for examiner so in the first step we have taken the membership in the second step we have taken the we have registered into the CFE exam we have paid the examination fees and we have uploaded the various documents required right now once we have completed our once we have paid the fees uploaded the uh, required document and our application is also approved by the acfe so we'll be just starting with the point where we have just uh, completed our earlier video so the moment we complete our all of the documentation and this is our cfe portal and this is our login id after entering into our login id and password you will be again coming back to this this screen right so here you will be finding this the green button this is called the schedule exam so now you are eligible to sit into the exam if the application uh, is approved only then you will be finding this green button in in, in your uh, portal right so the one important thing you have you have to understand whenever we would like to sit into the exam there is a window of 60 days right and that 60 days window will start from the day we click on this button it is not from the 60 days doesn't start from the day we pay the examination fees it doesn't start with the day from the day when we pay the membership fee it is not the case right even it is not started from the day when our application is approved so it will be starting from the day when we click on this button so even there is a gap of one month two month three month that we have paid the fees we have uh, our application is approved but until unless we click on this button for the first time from that day we have to schedule our exam right from that uh, day the 60 days window will start so now the point is what is the meaning of 60 days so as i mentioned the moment we click on this button our 60 day window will start and within from today up to 60 days we have to sit into the exam for all of the four papers of cfe right Again, I, I normally used to get this query that if whether the 60 days will start from the date of sitting into the first exam. No, whether it is start from whether the 60 days start from the date we schedule our first exam. No, 60 days start from the day we click on this button. What is the meaning of it? Even we click on this button and we schedule our first exam maybe for after 10 days. So 60 days already have been started from today, not from the date we are sitting into the first exam, right? So the important point, this is the very important point all of we have to keep in mind. So let's proceed. So once application is approved, the green button is there. We have to click on this button. The moment we click on this button, we will be finding the picture like this, right? You will be actually jumping, you will be actually taken to the another window another window that is called the prometric we will be uh, on the prometric website now and the prometric is a solution provider which actually takes all of the exam right so now it is the time when we have to select our date and time when we would like to sit into the all of the four papers but within the window of 60 days now there are two ways that we can sit into the exam number one is remote schedule and second two is, uh, second one is the test in person schedule so what is the meaning of both of them remote schedule is the functionality where you can give exam from the comfort of your home 
right you you will be able to give your exam from home you must be having the required infrastructure at your home you should be having a proper laptop or computer system in which you can download the prometric application and you can give the exam another requirement is that you your system should have a camera webcam and the uh, audio and the to record the audio also because the moment you will be giving exam from home your audio and video both must be on right so we should be in position to have that uh, uh, audio and video features in our system in which we are giving the exam so this is the one way remote schedule we can give exam with any of the day 365 days there are uh, we can give exam but yes subject to the date which we have selected to sit into the exam right second way is that in person schedule in person schedule means if we do not have any proper wi-fi we don't have any proper system or we do not have that required you know the the environment of the entire home right in the room which we are going to exam right for example we have so many kids at the home so they must be you know uh, will not let you to sit into the exam properly and number two there can be other situations right so if we have the sufficient uh, infrastructure if we have the good wi-fi with us if we have the uh, right time where we will be if we will be in position to sit into the silent room and we can give this and then it's better to go for immersion schedule otherwise you can select you can go to the pro metric center right there are the various pro metric center across the country so you can go into any of the pro metric center uh, the center where we have to go we'll be discussing in the subsequent uh, slides right so the point is you can give exam from off from the center as well as from the remote choice is ours right so let's let's start with the next point so for example we would like to give exam from the home so we have to click on this button called remote schedule the moment we will clicking it this page will get open and they are asking to schedule your appointment the day and time in which you would like to give the exam there are certain conditions which they have given so you have to just click on this button the moment we will click on this button it will take to the next uh, page and there you have again certain terms and condition which is mentioned here we have to click here i confirm and then again i consent so make sure you have to click on first and second not on third because the moment you will select on third you will click on third it will take you to the it will it will actually erase the uh, tick from here because you have to select any one of them so i consent to the collection and processing of any my personal data as prescribed in the in this personal data privacy right disclosure right so you have to click on first i confirm that and number two i consent to on this point you have to click and then again you have to click on this next button and the moment you will click in the next button they will be asking you to login so again this page will open you have to enter your eligibility number and then the first four character of your name the same which you would have got in the in the in the same page where you can see that green button right so here the the it is mentioned your eligibility number this is your eligibility id and this is the first four character of your last name whatever it is it is already mentioned or that is these are the last four first four characters of your last name not of your first name right so you have to you have to enter both of these two details in this uh, in this sheet and then you have to some click the button called submit the moment you will submit you will there are all of the four papers which you are supposed to give uh, have been appearing here right whatever the exam you would like to give you have to click on that particular exam one more thing it is not necessary that you will be giving exam in this sequence only means first you have to give this exam then this then this then no it's not the case you can give exam any of the uh, you can choose your own preference to give the exam the best methodology i would suggest that whatever the paper you are fully confident you have, you should give that exam first right so we'll be clicking any one of them you have to click any one of them and then there is a next button the, this is the next button and this you have to click and then it is asking you okay fine you would like to give the for example we have selected a module one so they are asking you okay you have to select your time zone time zone what does it mean for example we would like to give exam in india so it's you have to select gmt plus 5.5 which is chennai kolkata and mumbai new delhi standard time right 
if you are sitting into the another another city another country and where the time zone is different you have to select that particular time zone here make sure about it this is the first thing you should not do this mistake that even there is any any of the name is given or you are just going forward no you have to select your time zone in which you will be giving the exam right there can be situation two exam we are giving in india and two exam we are giving in us maybe the situation so that's not an issue so for every exam you have to select your time zone right for india students you have to select the gmt plus 5.5 then you have to click on this button i confirm this is the time zone i will be testing in right click on this and then again there is the next button we will be clicking on this next button it is taking you to the next screen right whatever the time zone you have selected they will be giving you okay for this time zone in these dates these are the time slots available where you can give the exam now the question is for example it is automatically taken certain dates it has taken the 11th of june to the 20th of june sorry 6th of november to 20th of november the time it has selected but you would like to give exam maybe on 25th of november so you have to click on this button select your from date and end date my dear friend it is not the date in which you will be giving all of the four exam no it is the period in which you would like to check what are the available dates and what are the available time for the module which we have selected at the beginning right as we have selected the first exam that is the financial transaction and fraud scheme so for example we would like to give it on 25th of november so you have to select the date from for example from 20th november and then end date will be the 30th november and then you will be able to see and you have to click on find available times and here you will be finding what all dates what all time is available to sit into the exam for example here it is given that uh, yes here it is given on 7th of november 2:45 pm which time zone whatever the time zone you have selected again i am reiterating if you have selected the india time zone it is showing the india time if you have selected the dubai uae time zone it is showing the uae time if you have selected the uk time it is showing the uk time not the indian time right so again it is showing which time zone they have selected this time zone according to this time zone 245 pm is the available date for this exam you can go for this you can go for this you can go for this any one of them you have to select choice is yours subject to your availability your comfort you have to select the particular dates for example we can see only three dates we would like to see more dates no problem there is again the next button more times you can click on more times and you will be able to see other available times slot in the particular time dates which we have selected if none of the times or the date are suitable to you then you have to change this filter and you will be finding the new dates right for example a particular weekday time we have selected and there is no suitable time zone available for time uh, time period is available for which we would like to sit you have to select the another time another date slot and then you will be able to see the find you have to click find available times you will be find you will be able to see the other available times for the exam so in this way you have to click on any particular one whatever suit is suitable to you and then you have to click on the button called reserve test time you have to click on the next button reserve test time and that's it your job is over there right the moment you will be selecting the reserve test time and that time it would be fixed for that particular module for that particular date on that particular time you have to now go to the exam on that particular date the moment we will be selecting it you would be getting a proper email from acfe or from the prometex stating that this module is scheduled for this date this time and they will also be giving you a link to download a software you have to click your you have to click on that software link you have to download that software in your pc and then you have to run you have to perform certain system check whether the system is capable to give you the exam or not if not then you have to change the system or so forth right and again the moment we are installing that system they will be asking certain confirmation number and that confirmation number would be of i believe 16 digit number they will be demanding so till now we do not have any 16 digit number the moment we click on reserve test time and you would be getting an email from cfe 
In that email you will be getting the 16 digit confirmation number. Sometimes we do this mistake that we try to download the software, we try to enter into the software and it is demanding 16 digit number in which we do not have. So until unless we reserve our time or I can say until unless we schedule our, our exam, we will not be having that 16 digit number, right? Once we schedule our any one of the exam, you would be getting that 16 digit number. You have to enter into that portal and then you will be able to perform the system check and then you will be able to into the enter into that software to sit into the exam, right? This is the way by which we can give the remote schedule. So uh, the key takeaways are we can select our own date, we can select our own time, subject to the availability, right? So we have to choose the dates, we have to find the suitable times and then same exercise we have to perform for the rest of the three modules as well, right? I would suggest do not uh, schedule all of the four exams in a, in a short it's better that we should schedule one, then we should appear into the exam, then we should schedule next, then we should appear into the time. Subject to if we have hardly three, four days to sit into the all of the four exam. So there is a possibility that uh, today the time and date is available and with that day and time may not be available tomorrow. So if we are short of the time, then you can schedule all, all of the four modules immediately so that to avoid any kind of the non-availability of the time. Otherwise, better we should go one by one or we, I would say you can, you should schedule maximum for two days, two exams because see, there can be situation today we have made our plan that we have scheduled our fall of the fall exam in the next 10 days or 15 days window. But again, there can be any kind of the exigency may come into the picture and we may not be sit into them. So when the institute is giving us a window of 60 days, we can choose, we should choose our date as per our comfort. And the moment we are fully confident that yes, I will be fully confident to sit to the exam on that particular date and that time is also available, then we should schedule it, right? Moving on to the next point, if we would like to give exam in the test center, instead of clicking remote schedule, we have to click on this one, in person schedule, right? Once we click on this thing, we will be uh, taken to the again to the eligibility number and first for character. The, the same which is available on our green button screen. You can enter it here, we can log in, you have to select your one exam, whatever you would like to give. Now, we have selected sit into the test center. So they are asking us to find a test center instead of finding a time zone. They are asking it, okay, find a test center. So here you have to select your scheduling for their saying, confirming you. My dear friend, you are scheduling the financial transaction and fraud scheme exam, right? If you have wrongly selected it, go back and select the correct one. They are asking you, okay, in which city you would like to give them? You have to give the particular city name, right? Or maybe your nearby city name. If that your particular city name is not available, there may be situation the city, the city doesn't have any prometric center. So you have to select the nearby city name or you can say capital of your state, you can say, right? Then you have to stay again, start date, end date. It will again be showing whether in this, in this bucket, whether any test center slot is available or not. So we have to select the date, end date, and then we have to go to the, uh, they will be showing us, okay, fine. And then we click date. So they are showing, my dear friend, you have selected the Gandhi Nagar in India, but there is no Gandhi Nagar uh, test center. The nearest possible test center is the Ahmedabad, right? Similarly, if there are more than uh, one centers, that those will also be showing here and those will be showing you which one you would like to select. Closest test center to your city which you have selected earlier. It is the closest one. It is also showing how far is uh, is the difference. How far is, the, is that particular test center which you have selected and which is available. So you have to select accordingly. Moving on to the next point, if you have selected it, it will be showing, okay, now you have decided I would like to sit into the exam into the Ahmedabad. What, which all dates are available? It is showing. These four, these particular one, 9, 10 and 12, 14 dates are available. For example, we have clicked on November 12. It goes to the red and it shows on November 12, only 3 p.m. time is available. But you are not available on 3 p.m. You can select on the another date and it will be showing what all time is available in that particular date. If, again, None of these time in these particular dates are not suitable. You have to select 
you have to select the time zone you have to select the dates again so check for the new dates and you will be able to see the same availability here once you did it it will be saying you okay fine done your date is fixed time is fixed center is fixed now you have to fill up certain details right you have to fill up these details blah 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 all these details you have to fill in the earlier case also right which is the remote schedule so once you reserve the time it will take you to this screen so you enter your all of the details as per the required thing again this 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 then again next it is showing okay my dear friend your date is final so they are showing okay your date is final your city is final your exam time is final which exam is final and blah 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 similarly then it is showing you to complete appointment if there are some more steps you have to click on those you have to follow those steps also until unless you get this button do not close the window this is again uh, some of the queries we normally used to get the students used to touch select the date and time and then they close the window and they assume that they have actually completed the appointment no until unless you get this word called complete appointment so the moment we click on this complete appointment it will be something like this okay fine my dear friend your appointment is confirmed your appointment is confirmed name date time time zone and that's it so all these things are there so in this way we have to schedule our exams right if there is any query in relation to the scheduling of exam uh, I, although i have tried to uh, explain all of the queries which we normally used to get in the in relation to the exam scheduling in this video in the while considering the time available so if there is any other query into this into this uh, uh, exam schedule uh, scheduling of this exam you can be in touch with us you can comment over this video also or you can be in touch with our team over whatsapp number that is 9313120114 right this is an indian number so it's plus 91 right so you can be in touch with any our team members over this number they will be happy to uh, guide you how to schedule your exam so by this way we have completed all of the three steps of scheduling the appearing into the exam and now it's the time once we have scheduled it's the time to sit into the exam one or two things i would like to add on here for example we have selected the date of 1st of january right and we have selected the time of 10 am so it's better to log in into at least 30 minutes earlier 9 30 am we should log in into the app into the software we, sh we should ready to write the exam right because the normally the pro metric person used to join and they used to see that whether you are uh, whether your entire room is free or not whether there is any notes or not because this is a closed book exam at all even if you are giving from the exam you are not supposed to use any kind of the books any kind of the notes right and no one else also should not be in the room so there will be a person who will be joining into the into your exam and he will be asking you show me your upwards show me your right words show me your left words and so on. show me what is in your pocket or so right so they will be checking and making sure that no one else is there in the room and you are giving the exam with the full integrity and throughout the two hours exam they will continuously be monitoring your audio and video the moment you will be sitting into the exam and they will also be recording it right and in that way they will be checking that whether the exam is given with the full integrity or not if that is done then obviously you will be able to uh, give the exam properly i i wish that you have found this video uh, relevant for you and your most of the queries related to scheduling the exam has been answered right if there is any other query please be in touch with our team thank you so much for watching this video and uh, wish you all the very very best of luck for your upcoming exam right please do like and subscribe this video and subscribe to our channel for any upcome for the updates related to the upcoming videos so that you will you will be able to see and watch the relevant content related to the cfe exam thank you so much once again bye bye